Good morning, folks. First, if you didn't catch last night's evening news, it is linked for you below. We discussed large earthquakes, including a seven-pointer that struck right in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and how the planets and coronal holes lined up for it. We also discussed a tragedy of whale beachings in New Zealand and yet another gamma burst from the northern skies. Let's start today with something very cool. This ESO video and the accompanying article are linked for you below. Two stars are on a collision course and may wind up ending their lives in dramatic fashion. This is a top recommendation today. Back at our star, the departing northern filament released harmlessly up and away. The incoming solar tornadoes got torn apart and are a mere shadow of their former selves as they enter Earth-facing position. The massive plasma filament is still holding on as it turns out of view. That's one major eruption threat avoided. We are going to switch back to 193 angstroms here and zoom out so we can see multiple plasma filaments behind the departing one. They have stayed connected to the sun, but these have already begun surging and may release today. Solar flaring has flatlined. The earth-facing side of the sun is quiet. Sunspots are not helping the situation in number or magnetic complexity. Still no real mixing in the big central grouping with some minor potential if that leading blue positive umbra grows quickly. Behind that, the spots are small and magnetically separated. The coronal holes are, of course, still around, and we're still waiting for their signature in the solar wind. Something interesting about yesterday's seven-pointer, it appears to be right on the L2 shell line, implicating disruption to Earth's magnetic field, causing the quake. Also had one rumble overnight above average in Nevada near the California border. If you happen to be lucky enough to have clear skies tonight, perhaps you can share this with someone special. Venus and Mars conjoining in the evening sky to the west, while Sirius and Jupiter own the eastern skies at sunset. Sirius right below Orion there. Also a great picture of an Earth flare. This photo on spaceweather.com shows a sprite off an African thunderstorm. Always terrific to see these caught in action. Cold, snow, Cold snow blizzard, cold snow. Still not done just yet. Strong low pressure cell is dominating the northern states and Canada right now with a grinning convergence line from Montana up to New England. The leading eastern edge teased with some warmth, but now it's all the western Arctic chill. Snow zones tonight sit on and north of that convergence line. In Europe, we have a low in the North Atlantic, which is actually connected to that low near the UK that crested Ireland yesterday and whose convergence now goes over Germany, France, and Spain. Also got a smaller low sitting atop Finland right now. The clouds show how those first two systems are connected and how their shear makes it to the third low in the north. Down under, we see a southwestern convergence leading over to a low near the southeast. And yet again, that low remains in the north. Clouds do the talking for us here, matching up very nicely. Folks, it is Saturday, so we've got another episode of Fly on the Wall. I'll give my honest opinions of the Conscious Life Expo and share some very interesting things we heard there. And we'll be discussing the most relevant stories and updates to our topics of focus. Memberships a whopping $3 per month or $20 for an entire year. We greatly appreciate your support. Got the current conditions and shots of our star to close. at 6.20 a.m. in the east, 4.20 a.m. mountain time. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.